I'm going to take legal ag- action against the hospital because this is complete negligence and they don't even call to say, okay, we are sorry for what happened during this time. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me what well, going on, my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. The police say investigation into the case of a man accused of molesting two children in Negril, Westmoreland is being expedited with a view to lay charges. The 29 year old man is accused of molesting his five year old sister and his two year old niece. He was picked up during an operation on Tuesday night in Whithorn area in the parish. Superintendent Wayne Joseph, head of the Westmoreland police, said the man will soon be questioned, but some checks and balance first have to be done to put together an airtight case. That him say people but you wanna me make him talk to no and then me gonna make him mother come come talk to no but mother i look at you i look for bear this a boy you come and rejoice boy you glad say them find him and carry me no 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 bear we should have bear this a boy yeah there are a number of things that has to be done some checks and balances has to be done so that we we we, we put together an airtight case against him but but i can assure you that we we, we are expediting um, the, invest, the investigations and and we will give updates as time goes by because there are a lot of parents out there who they see the signs or they they, they hear complaints from their children and they ignore them so i just want to appeal to the parents out there first of all to pay attention close attention to their children so if anything strange or unusual happens they can detect it and you know take action as early as possible i feel grateful to father god the police, the citizens of Jamaica, I thank them. We coping now, now as we hear that he get caught, so everybody, I try to tell them thanks. And the mother now, every mother, be careful of family, not friend alone, family, because the five-year-old is brother, the two-year-old is uncle. The police, them is just as dumb as the family member when they hold him and jump asleep and make him get wet. Oh, slap, or should I go slap for this boy? Anyway, now, people, hear the mother talk now. This morning, I wake so late and I hear a drink come and fall. And when I open the window, it's two police. When they come, the woman go on the phone and she said, This is the guy. He said, Yes. She said, This is the guy. He said, Yes. When you going to party, she said, we have him now. He said, thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Thank the citizen. Thank Father God. Thank the Prime Minister. Everybody. You should feel more pain. Like what my daughter feel. She's five. But thank God we hold him. He didn't kill himself. That's we can get more justice. Every mother, be careful of family. Not friend alone. Family because the five-year-old his brother. The mother feels coming public about the incident helped with tracking down the perpetrator. When we go to chase him yesterday, keep walking in the bush. So maybe he in the bush in the day and in the night, but when the farmer see him, the farmer said, when he come out, he see him and the news. She also clarified that the second little girl, her granddaughter, who also lives at the house, was taken to the hospital for checks. And thankfully, there were no medical signs that a two-year-old was a victim. But the trauma will clearly linger with the family for some time. July is 30. He's my second child. That one is my baby. She's the last one. And you remember when we still here in the room? Every time I go in the room, I still remember. You remember us of my babies? I can't sleep. I can't eat. See, that's the rum cup I was drinking. That's my me, the rum and the cigarette. Every time I look, I'm crying for my kids, them in the house. Because she would go to school, the baby was right here. I would want to get away from this memory in this house. You know what, people? Make I move on. Me have piece of information for give fix Bailey. So somebody need to call him right now and tell him to get him pen and him paper and forward over upon the platform. Let me tell him exactly what I want. 
Hold on a minute there now. The soldier when they get shot out of Crossroad, right up beside tax office right there, so on the final shot him yet, you ready for the fix Bailey? Ask Fluffy Ao. Ask the ringleader, Fluffy, yes. Ask Fluffy Ao, because the people them giving the information for gold, you know. The people them say, Ask Fluffy. I am mean, know the people that wonder, oh dear Fluffy, my view. No need to worry. You don't know me not keep nothing from you, no. You see the people that me a wall the other day? Yes, the land jump for them. Right down a man with the gun. Ask them about it. Ask them about it. Turn all man them come from. If you don't believe, look in the comment section. The people that me confirm the story. Right turn all man them come from. Ask Fluffy. Who oh, they go up on the operation there? All of them know. But anyway, I can go no more news. A 13-year-old boy is now in police custody following allegation he set fire to two vehicles owned by retired Assistant Commissioner of Police Keith Trinity Gardner on Tuesday night. Investigators report that, that shortly after midnight, the retired commissioner was alerted by neighbors that two of his vehicles parked at his garage in Christian residence were seen on fire. The vehicles, a grey 2007 Subaru motor vehicle and a grey and white Toyota Prada were badly damaged by the flames. Firefighters from the Alfred Tree Fire Station extinguished the flame. The estimated value of both vehicles was $4 million. The police conducted an operation in a nearby gully and two boys ages 13 and 11 were arrested. Both boys were questioned by the police and the 13-year-old reportedly admitted to set fire to the vehicle. He was subsequently charged with malicious destruction of property. Hold on Police, let me tell you something. It's safe for you to make the world a better place, you know. It is safer for you to make the world a better place and take rid of them boy. Yeah, yeah man. How oh, no, should I just slap them boy? Them not too young for get slapped boy. You understand? Remember, say, you oh, don't carry them behind bars to make you go some woman fan off them head no more, you know. Slap them boy. Them not too young. I'm tired for telling you know, that. How long a bit then you are going over to one of these hospitals that I normally tell you, you know. If you don't have coal, don't go over there. People. I want to listen to this now. You understand? I want to say, no lie when I talk to you. I'm going to take legal ag action against the hospital because this is complete negligence and they don't even call to say, okay, we are sorry for what happened during this time. I don't think any child deserves this, any mother. This is overwhelming. I can't, this is more than mm. I can bear. I, I noticed him spitting up more than the usual. Being that he was premature, I took him to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was born for the for observation. And just when I when when he was observed and some routine test was done, you including urine and blood, they noticed um that uh that there was a protein in his urine. So he was admitted and treated for a urinary tract infection. Frightening is how Keshan McDonald described the look of her son's hand after being called to the Spanish Town Hospital to meet with the medical team. It, it was a orthopedic doctor from the Spanish Town Hospital who has said there, there was a mishap during the, the transfusion and I need to come in as soon as possible because the baby need to be transferred to the Bustamante Children's Hospital. She recalls that on March 30, she took her five-week-old baby to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was diagnosed with a urinary tract infection. The child was admitted and was being treated with antibiotics, but Ms. McDonald says she was told his blood count was low and a blood transfusion was needed. She says the doctors told her they started the transfusion at 7 that evening. It was done by accessing the vein on the child's right hand. We were told by a doctor that the process of blood transfusion must be carefully managed, especially when dealing with children. But after the process, this mother was left in a state of shock. And when I saw the baby's arm, I said, Doc, but this looked like negligence. And she said, yes, it is negligence because they are supposed to be checking the, the access and constantly to ensure that the blood is flowing properly. A doctor, she says, explained what could have caused the infection. The doctor has said that um, at 10 p.m., a junior nurse checked the access to ensure and flushed it to ensure that the blood was flowing properly. Um, a junior nurse is not supposed to be checking uh, access to ensure. They are supposed to be supervised with a senior registered nurse. Oh, this is what the, doc the doctor said, that, that um, the, the access is supposed to be monitored constantly. The baby was subsequently transferred to the Bustamante Hospital for Children, where he underwent surgery. 
when I went to um, the Bustamante Children Hospital, they said that if they, are, they have used a syringe, if, they were, if a doctor had used a syringe within half an hour to an hour after the, the transfusion, the blood could have been extracted from the, the child's arm. Because it stayed so long, it clotted underneath it. So the, the baby had to go undergo a surgery. This is nothing that a mother should bear. This is, this is overwhelming. This is the child, when, you see, when I looked at my baby's face, I could see pain in his eyes. I could see pain in his face. He couldn't mo move properly. I'm going to take legal ag action against the hospital because this is complete negligence and they don't even call to say, okay, we are sorry for what happened during this time. I don't think any child deserves this, any mother. This is overwhelming. I this is more than I can bear.